10 to 20 years from now, I feel like they are Disney World regulars. Like they're going to Disney World on like a yearly basis with their four or five children if I think Kelsey gets her way and like their one kid if Andrew gets his way. <laughs> I think they'll have kids. I think that's for sure. And Andrew will still be in his job. Kelsey, I don't know. I think she might find some other avenues to go down, which will be good. I'm sure they'll have a family. My parents will be very happy about that. <laughs> well, I imagine they'll probably stay in the area. There's a lot of family ties there and they uh, both have large and close families. Say you're sorry, even if it's not your fault. <laughs> and just to be humble and, you know, never let the sun go down on your anger. Not sure, because I've never been married. Um, but what I've heard is happy wife, happy life. Try not to go to bed angry. Learn to speak each other's love language. Uh, figure out what makes, makes each other feel held. And do it, do it every day. When I was little, I would watch Disney princess movies, and I believed in the fairy tales. Falling in love at first sight, marrying a prince, living happily ever after in a castle. I eventually stopped believing in love altogether. There wasn't, there was just too many frogs out there. And then I met you. And suddenly, from the first hello, I knew. It was a complete 180. I believed in love again. I believed in the fairy tale. So I want to welcome you here for this gathering and celebration on behalf of Kelsey and Andrew. I invite your prayers uh, now, not only during the formal time of prayer that we do during the service, not only during the service, but even more so, hold them in your thoughts and your prayers as the day goes forward and the day after that and the day after that. Kelsey, I never knew the moment I would fall in love was watching you draw a bicycle for me. <laughs> it was a silly request with an equally silly result, but what stuck with me was not the drawing, but instead the look of determination on your face. It reminds me of the determination in which you do all things, whether golfing, finding a job, being a dog mom, <laughs> or being my partner. You always commit to the things that are important. My vow to you is to give back that same commitment, to return to you the love that you've given me and the love that is in my heart. I, Andrew, take you, Kelsey. I, Andrew, take you, Kelsey. To be my wife. To be my wife. I, Kelsey, take you, Andrew. I, Kelsey, take you, Andrew. To be my husband. To be my husband. And these things I promise you. And these things I promise you. I will be faithful to you. I will be faithful to you. And honest with you. And honest with you. I will respect and trust. I will respect and trust. Help and care for you. Help and care for you. I will forgive you. I will forgive you. As we have been forgiven. As we have been forgiven. And I will share my life with you. And I will share my life with you. Through the best and worst. Through the best and worst. Of all that is to come. Of all that is to come. Until death, until death parts us. Kelsey and Andrew, by their promises before God and in the presence of this assembly, have bound themselves to one another as husband and wife. May their bond not be broken by anything in this world or beyond. I invite you now to seal this day with a kiss. It is now my privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Andrew and Kelsey Lippert.
parents, our grandparents, our families, our uh, brides people, bridal party. We, we appreciate so much that you've all been out here to help celebrate with us. Um, and really, life is a celebration. Don't take for granted the moments. Celebrate with us tonight. tonight. Drink and be merry. <laughs>